Hi and welcome back to my studio. Today I'm gonna explain to you the process of drawing the head sculpture from plain paper to the finished drawing. There are many ways to get it done, but I wanna show you my approach if you want to achieve a similar result. I'm showing you my favorite pencil right now, it's Tombow Mono, hardness HB, very great lead, I have an extender attached to it not only because it makes it longer, but also because it keeps strokes more accurate. So let's dive into it. I started as always, big broad shapes and lines that cross through each other and make initial forms. In my drawing process I focus on having all parts of my image in the same level of detail, so it means that some artists can create fully rendered eyes for example and then go to the next section, to the nose and they keep coming and rendering each part separately. I don't use this approach because I find it very hard to fix additional mistakes. So my process is to have all sections in same level of detail. It gives me flexibility and more options to make changes. And this method I advise you to try it and you'll see it's much more versatile. I also implemented some real-time sections to give you an idea of how long it takes to make it done. Look how I'm holding the pencil, almost like a brush, very loose but firm at the same time. I engage my forearm in the first part. That gives me ability to not focus on details but rather on the image as a whole. At first you must have your proportions right, then you can go to the next level of detailing. We can divide the process of drawing to the following parts. First, line work, what I'm finishing right now. Second, initial shading. Third, detailing. Fourth, blending. I'll show you two different types of blending. And the fifth, additional detailing. Now we move on to the second stage, shading. The shading process involves setting the basic values. In this case, we will start with only two values, and that's dark and light. Here I'm reinforcing the existing lines just in case to not loosen while shading. We will determine the basic parameters where the light is coming from. You can see I don't focus on the details at all and the shading is very rough and looks a bit chaotic. I can sometimes go beyond some guidelines, but it doesn't matter at this stage of drawing. It's essential to draw the lines cleanly and gently right from the beginning. The drawing should be nice in every phase of the drawing. Now you can watch the process in real time, although it's a bit boring for me, but some of you requested. It won't take long, roughly around a minute. Okay, I think that's enough, hope you're still here. And you can see how long it takes in real time. However, I must say that this piece is an academic drawing and demonstration. Usually this process is much more dynamic. At this stage, there's still some time for corrections. You can make mistakes, but you can also fix them. We are making a basic model of what we will later edit in detail into final form. I do the basic shading on the face all very roughly and I demonstrate it in the straight lines. I'm 
just casting the base shade on the torso and I can also adjust some of the proportions. Notice how far I hold the pencil. This distance helps me keep the strokes straight. I try to cover as large an area as possible with graphite and the places that are not drawn are only ones that are the widest. Now we move to the detailed face. I will explain the detailed face at the top of the head in the hair area. There are many hills in the depressions where the light and shadow values change. Also, it's always good to have some paper or something under your hands so that you not unnecessarily make smudges on an existing drawing or you can have a glow that's intended for drawing. Here I'm making the dark darker and putting in the mid-tones. Although this face is simpler, it's also more lengthy. Even in this part of the drawing, I still follow the reference. Although I have determined the basic lines, it's necessary to control whether I'm not deviating from original image. I cover the hair and make simple strokes that copy the form. Here I'm already starting to add shades of dark to increase the contrast and the plasticity of the drawing. Now you can take a softer lead, for example B or 2B and so on. By gradually increasing the contrast, you achieve a three-dimensional effect. Here you can watch the section in real time again, which will last less than a minute. Slow and steady process of building a drawing, good things simply take some time.
So here I start the first way of blending and slowly unifying the tones. In this phase I made a few mistakes as you can see I have several darker places, but in the next part I will fix them with the needed eraser. The second method of blending consists of using tissue paper, which I boldly pass over the entire surface of drawing, unifying the tone and reducing the contrast. This way the drawing will come closer to reality. By tapping the kneaded eraser on the surface of the drawing, I remove the excess graphite without smearing it. I clean the outer edges with kneaded eraser. And finally, there's a fine tuning phase or detailing phase. I use sharp lead, eraser and also a brush that is used for fine blending but at the same time cleans up the waste from the eraser. I soften the transitions with the blending stump. So we are almost done, if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe this channel. If you have any further questions feel free to ask me in the comment section. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one.